Hey guys, Brickman117, welcome back to the channel and a new series, Ask Brickman117. This is a series that will give you guys the chance to have your questions answered by me on this show. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button for future updates. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And most importantly, if you want to be in with a chance of having your question answered on the next episode, make sure you leave your question in the comments section below. The reason I decided to start this series is simply because I get so many questions across all of the videos now. I also get asked the same question across multiple videos time and time again. So this is the best thing I could do to try and answer as many people's questions in one go. To make the video a bit more interesting, I've filmed myself real time working on phase three of the Ultimate Assault on High Ground mock. So you can watch me build that while I answer some of your questions. So let's get into it. First question comes from Derpy Dillo. Are you going to make any more parts to the High Ground mock? Same with the Longsword. Yes, as you can see, I'm working on phase three now. So hopefully you will have a phase three video for the ultimate assault on high ground mock relatively soon. It's not as big as I wanted it to be the phase three simply from parts limitation, but you will have at least one video featuring the ultimate assault on high ground mock in the very near future. Next up, Big Bad. What happened to the longsword? Nothing happened to it, it is still there. It's a bit of a long story, the longsword, so I'll try to keep it short. As was the case with the Ultimate Pelican, you cannot just buy the parts you need, so you have to wait for them to become available. When I started the Ultimate Longsword mock, I knew I had quite a lot of pieces to get me a lot further than I actually have gotten so far. But that was around the same time that I started speaking with Mega Constructs and they were keen to try and help out with some of these Ultimate builds. They were hoping they could supply me the parts I needed for the Ultimate Longsword. It turns out that that's not as simple as we first hoped. They are still planning to help me out with some other Ultimate builds, but the Longsword, unfortunately, is going to have to be one that I'm going to have to carry on scavenging from eBay for to get enough parts. So it's not been scrapped, it's just been put on the back burner whilst the Halo Infinite sets came out so I could deal with those. But ultimately it will be continued at some point. So fear not, you will see that build continue as soon as I get some time to get back onto it. Next up, Jonathan Garcia asks, what happened to the intro? So for those of you that have noticed that the intros disappeared, that's just a little experiment I've been carrying out for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I've been trying a number of different things to try and make videos go further. I do an awful lot of research into what makes videos successful and what makes videos not successful. It's surprising how many videos that I would consider good content go nowhere. And I make some videos that are, shall we say, not my best work and they seem to go very, very far. So understanding why and how all of that side of YouTube works is a very important part of being a YouTuber. Removing the intro was a little experiment that I was carrying out for viewer retention. Most YouTube videos, you can lose up to 50% of your viewers within the first 10 seconds. My intro often takes six to 10 seconds. They say that if you want to retain your audience, you have to engage them within the first five seconds of your video, as if they're not engaged with five seconds, they move on to the next video. So removing the intro was a way for me to try and get straight onto the video very quickly, just to see if it changes that viewer retention percentage. So that's still an ongoing experiment. I would prefer to have the intro, I prefer to do it. it makes me feel like the video is more complete but ultimately it's about what the viewer likes. So we'll see how that goes. You may see it come back, it may stay as it is, but it's a good question nonetheless. Magic Claw asks, I got a question for you, Brickman. Do you have any stores in your area that has a Spartan Mark VII? Because I can't find any near me. Now, I don't know where Magic Claw is, but I know that there are no stores in my area that it's impossible to buy any kind of mega blocks or mega constructs in the area that I live. I live on an island and they've never had a retail for mega constructs. So no, every single thing that I buy for mega constructs or mega blocks in days gone past is all from the internet. It all comes from either Amazon, eBay UK, and I do occasionally buy from amazon.com and get it shipped over if the price is right. 
EACP asks, why is it taking you so long to review these sets? That's another valid question. It's taken me a lot longer to review all of the infinite sets that I wanted to. Unfortunately, it just tied in with a very busy period with my day job. I run my own business. Business comes first. That's what pays for all these sets and ultimately it lets me have the finances to do this channel. So I have to prioritize that. And unfortunately, a busy period at work results in no time for making YouTube videos. So I work long days and then I just squeeze in the odd YouTube video when I've got the time. So that's why it's taken me so long to get these sets out. If I was a full-time YouTuber, it wouldn't be a problem. But unfortunately, YouTube doesn't pay as well as most people think it does. Fatboy asks, what's the music you used? Now, I get asked this question a lot. I probably should start putting the music in the description because I do get asked that a lot. I do often forget to put that description in there. I generally use music from the YouTube free music library. In fact, every song that you would have ever heard or every part of music has come from the free music YouTube library. Just Yogi asks, any updates whether or not instructions will come? He's referring to the Shadow of Intent mock that I created. At the moment, I don't have intentions to make any instructions short term, but that mock is still in one piece. I am contemplating setting up a Patreon where one of the Patreon benefits will be access to instructions to all of the mocks that I create any mock that is suitable for instructions, that is. Something like the Shadow of Intent is small enough to justify instructions, but it's incredibly time consuming creating those instructions. The instructions I created for the Ultimate Warthog was a very unpopular video. So for the hardcore fans, it's very much appreciated, but in return for my time, it offers nothing in terms of financial return. So unfortunately, I think if I'm going to continue making any kind of instructions, they will be a benefit for Patreon. Jason Roberts asks, hey Brickman, what camera are you using for your videos? Every single video that you have seen on my channel has been shot with either my old iPhone 7, I have recently picked up, or I say recent, six months or so ago, an iPhone 10, but Unfortunately, I've had a lot of trouble with the camera focusing on the iPhone 10. It's a really good camera, but it constantly readjusts your exposure level, which makes giving you that infinite white background that looks so crisp, very difficult to manage on the iPhone 10. So I do regularly revert back to the iPhone 7. David Padilla asks, how do you get so many loose pieces? I buy lots and lots of old sets from eBay UK. A lot of people think that I've been buying these sets over the last six to 12 months, which is the life of the channel. I haven't, I've been buying people's old sets for years and years and years whilst I was collecting without building before I was a YouTuber. So many people's old sets were paid for a long time ago, stored away in my loft with my brand new inbox collection for this purpose, for when I finally found time to set up a YouTube channel. So a lot of the sets that you've seen on my videos of eBay hauls, some of those sets may have been purchased many years prior to the video coming out. And that's how I get all of the loose sets. They come in a right state, dusty, all muddled up. They go through the washing machine, they get separated, and then they get put into different containers and so on, as you've seen, which I can use to build. And that's pretty much the only way you can create a good stockpile of mega constructs pieces. So that's all the questions for episode one of Ask Brickman 117. If you do have a question, by all means, put it in the comment section below. I'll try to answer the most commonly asked questions, but I'll also answer questions that appeal to me. Do feel free to ask me what you like, but don't be offended if I don't answer your question. After all, I can't answer all the questions, but I will do my best to get through as many as I can within a reasonable time frame. If these videos come across well with the hardcore fans, then I intend to release one of these videos once every week to two weeks. We'll see how popular and how many questions there are on there. If the demand is there, I will try to release one of these videos every week. If the demand is not there, I'll do it every two weeks. But I'd like to continue this because I think it's a good way to relate to the fans and come back and give something back to all the support you've shown me so far through this channel's life. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.